How you doing, Will? This morning, I'm in here working on this new model. This is the Riverside. And what the Riverside is, it is a, a larger version of my stream side. And every knife I make, I have to take into consideration um, the balance point of the knife. Depending on how the knife's used, the user preference, um, the balance, point, balance points will be different. Uh, for a heavy chopping style knife, of course, you're gonna have more of a forward balance point. Um, for kitchen knives, depending on how they're used, you may have uh, more of a pinch grip um, balance point. You may have a neutral balance point. Again, it all kind of depends. For belt knives, I prefer actually a more of a handle heavy balance point, which is right about here. I like the knife to sit in my hand, depending on how I'm holding the knife. I like that rearward weight so the knife's not, you know, if I'm slipping out of my hand, I'm not holding it in a death grip. Um, but that's my preference. I like that more of a handle heavy balance point where the knife just sits in my hand. I, I, it feels comfortable. It doesn't want to go away. All right. Now you have to decide how you want to achieve that balance point. So with this Riverside here, it's gonna have a full height flat grind. And I know that the grind line or the plunge area is gonna be in, in this area here. So looking at the knife right now, it's got basically a neutral balance point. But I know once I full height uh, flat grind this, it's gonna be handle heavy. And that doesn't even take consideration putting handle material on. What handle material am I, am I gonna use? How heavy is the handle material? Probably gonna use a micarta on this, probably a quarter inch micarta. So I know that from going from neutral to handle heavy based off um, just grinding the blade, once I put handle material on there, it's gonna be too heavy. So I have to decide how I want to lighten the tang. Two main options is to remove metal from the tang or do something like this, which is a um, taper tang. Taper tang removes weight from the handle. It also gives a nice aesthetic. So how would I do this? Well, I don't know right now. So I would go ahead and set myself up to go either way prior to heat treat. This knife's not been heat treated. All these holes you see in the handle they're really not for weight reduction. They do remove some weight, but I have three pin holes and these other holes are for epoxy. Basically, they're a place for the epoxy to go. So when the handle material is compressed on, the epoxy can't run out. I'll have matching divots on the inside of the handle material. And now it gives a, a in a sense, a pocket for the epoxy to be at and it creates a mechanical bond, basically like hidden pins. All these are basically be like hidden pins between the tang and the handle material. So I'm not looking at these for the weight. So what would I do? Um, before I heat treated this knife, I would hollow out this handle material. I would come in here, let's see from here to here, and I would hollow this out. In a sense, um, making a fuller in the handle that you wouldn't see. Now, what that does, that removes a lot of weight. Um, if I left it that way after heat treat, put handle scales on there, it gives an, um, another place for epoxy to go. But after heat treat, if I decided to taper the tang, I've already removed all that metal and it just makes tapering the tang easier at that point in time. Uh, with this being the prototype, I'd probably just go ahead and leave this full tang. And once I um, hollow this handle out, in a sense, put the fuller in there. After heat treat, I wouldn't have to do a whole lot to have the handle ready to put scales on. Other make sure that it's true and flat and cleaned up. So also I got to take, you know, I said the handle material, what type of handle material? If I know that I'm gonna put a heavy handle material on there, then I know I need to either remove more um, steel from the handle or possibly, again, taper the tank. So talking about handle material, just to give you an example, I've got two big blocks of curly maple and I've got one block of ebony, all right? 
So obviously I've got more material in this curling maple, but ebony is such a denser wood, heavier wood, it'll make a difference. So I've got the curly maple, the two blocks of curly maple, 10.2 ounces. The one block of ebony is 14.9 ounces. So if I was gonna use ebony and not the curly maple, I need to ensure I remove more steel from the tang. If I'm gonna use, say, the curly maple, I don't have to use as much to you know, achieve the balance point that I want, which would be, I would want the balance point about right here. Um, <clears throat> I was talking about kitchen knives. This is a uh, Nakiri that uh, I made my wife. And the balance point is right here. So it's set up for a comfortable pinch grip like I prefer. All right. Here's a cross between a Nakiri and say a like, large prep paring knife. And I've got the balance point as a neutral balance point. So you can hold it in the hand, peel vegetables, do what you need to do. Again, from using it as a paring knife <clears throat> to using it as a just a small, you know, Nakiri. Then I've got a larger Carolina belt knife here. And I've got the balance point right there, right where I want it. So it sits in my hand. It doesn't want to walk away from me. And I knew that when I was doing this, I was using curly maple. And this has even got three sixteenths brass pins. So that's the other thing to take in consideration, what type of pin stock are you gonna use? Smaller pins, larger pins, um, tubes, you know, that all impact the weight. So what are you doing? What do you want it to do? Um, where do you want the balance point to be? Take this little ball peen hammer, hammer here. You know, all the weight is in the hammer head because, you know, you're, that's what you're doing. You don't want the weight back here. You know, it's a, a nice a tool. You have to kind of design it around the function of the tool. And again, your preference. So belt knives, my preference is handle heavy. But again, that's my preference. Kitchen knives, I'm, I'm either going to go for a neutral or I'm going to go for a pinch grip. And all these things I have to take in consideration from the grinds, um, handle size, handle material, pin size, pin material, all these things are a factor. So I have to, to, to think about these things ahead <clears throat> and make um, educated choices for the design and where the knife's going to go. So maybe that's beneficial for somebody. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Take care.